Okay, right, welcome back for another video. Today's demonstration is ADSB 3D map data inside of SDR Angel. So we're going to begin by opening up a new workspace. We're going to come over here to our configuration presets. This opened up on the other window for me. Uh, right, we're going to come up here to ADSB. We're going to come down here and we're going to load this preset. Great. Right, now, as you can see, I've already done a demonstration on this in a previous video. So, this down here is for the 2D maps and this is your ADSB data. Uh, this is just a spectrum and for your device. But today we are going to be concentrating on 3D maps. So, uh, I want you to come up here to this small spanner with a plus sign up here. Put it on your device window. Okay. Come up to the spanner with the plus sign. Add features. I want you to click that. Now, on add features, go down to the drop down menu. And I want you to select map. And I want you to apply. Great. Let's close that off. Ah, no, there it is, up there. Click this where the separator is, expand this up. Now this zeroes in on the 3D map. Now I just want to put a little disclaimer on here before we start zooming in and out. I would highly suggest that the system that you're using, the CPU and the RAM is up to par. So this, because this can be quite resource intensive. So just make sure that your CPU and your RAM, uh, maybe run an SSD hard drive. I'm hoping you've got all those boxes ticked. Um, but you will know immediately once you start zooming in, things will start to slow down for you. You'll quickly start noticing that things get a little bit clunky. But as you can see, this is a great tool for recon, for uh, uh, just surveying the area and checking out things. I don't use this on SDR Angel on a daily basis. I've found that if I need to use any sort of uh, data like this, I will just pull it up on my phone. Um, for the amount that I'm using it, the phone for me, <laughs> you know, works perfectly. But for today, we are going to be looking at the viewing of 3D planes inside of SDR Angel. So, before we begin, I would probably recommend that we come up here to the burger menu. Bear in mind, as we're making all of these configurations, we, we are not running our SDR. This is not playing, this is not activated, just to avoid any confusion inside of the system. Uh, I want you to come to the burger menu here, three bars. I call it a burger. I want you to select this. Again, it opened on the other screen for me. Right, this is where you can download the 3D models. This is where you can download the airport data. This is where you can download the airspaces data. You can configure your 3D map settings. We're using Celsius World Terrain, but there's also other ones that you can select from. We don't have any buildings on for now. The lighting is just the sun, etc. Uh, you can add your API keys here. So once you become more advanced, I'm or when you become more familiar with using uh, this uh, Celsius Ion with inside of SDR Angel, you can start adding API keys. Uh, you can start configuring the map. As you can see, for we have the pretty much the same color red for a few different things. This is where you will begin to customize. I mean, just to get you off the ground for today, we're not going to go into too much of this data. So, but I would just recommend if you're going to be using this on a daily basis, just download the 3D models just to minimize as much of the resources on your computer being used. So, we'll okay this off. You can also make other adjustments up here. You know, again, 
just get clicking around with things just discover what things do the worst thing that can happen is you can just close everything off restart SDR Angel and try again no harm done so right so I think now we've got through these presets bear in mind if you are downloading the maps after you've downloaded the maps uh, the 3D models from the burger menu here once you've downloaded this it does actually tell you in the description that it's recommended to restart SDR Angel after downloading and I would just roll with that as a general rule of thumb for everything you know <laughs> restart it so right now we're gonna play I'm gonna come up here press play I'm gonna let the data load in right here we go so I have my, I'm not using any fancy antenna, this is a portable Duplo antenna that was provided with the STR, uh, the RTL SDR. So this is just, it's all about antenna location, mine is on top of my roof, um, uh, out of the attic window, just stuck onto the window on the outside, I'm not inside of an urban area, so I do have a fairly good pickup range. So we will... So in order to view the 3D plane after you've downloaded the models, you would select it, you would come over to here to where the, the box popped up, you would come to the icon that looks like a video camera, and we would click that. We're going to let everything load in. This is where you're going to start to notice the load on your system. So yeah, I think you're getting the picture now. We can move around. We can genuinely have a good time with it. Again, try and get as much stuff downloaded as possible. Uh, disclaimer that the API keys are potentially maybe going to cost you some money. So just try downloading the 3D models first and all of the data just to try and make your life a little bit more simple. Keep this open source. Um, I mean, by no stretch of the imagination, I'm not an expert on uh, the 3D maps. So uh, if anyone can help, if anyone is more uh, experienced in using this commercially maybe, uh, please, by all means, drop some help in the comments. Let's keep this open source and let's help each other learn. And uh, yeah, I think for today, this should be able to get you off the ground and this should be able to get you started. And if you have any questions, drop it in the comments and I'll do my, my, my best to assist you. And until the next one.